And for all of you entrepreneurs, you might want to pay attention. So the other thing that, that uh, my rich dad taught me, which is this here, is since I was not a very good student in school, he just says, remember the McDonald's formula. If you saw, the, you saw the movie Founder, he says it right in the movie. The purpose of McDonald's business is not hamburgers. McDonald's business is to buy real estate. You see, they put, a, a hamburger stand produces so much income, it can afford the real estate. Well, the average guy, you know, graduating from school with their MBA or PhD, they go, well, how come I can't do that? So McDonald's did this here. So they had their business, which is hamburgers, bought their real estate. So today, McDonald's owns more real estate than the Catholic Church. Does the Catholic Church get tax breaks too? Enormous tax breaks. They don't pay tax on any of their income. Yeah, so, to, to, so McDonald's competed with the Catholic Church by just building hamburgers and buying real estate. Any comments on that, Tom? Well, the, the great thing is, is you don't have to be huge to do this, right? I mean, you can do it with your, you know, your startup business, your online business, right? You guys are doing all those online businesses. You could do it from here to here. The tax law is ultimately fair because it, you don't have to be huge in order to take advantage. What you do have to have, though, is the financial education because you have to behave like these people. If you do what these people do, you get the same tax benefits that they get. The challenge that most people have here is that they don't have any financial education. And so they do everything as if they were up here and that just gets them in trouble because these guys, that's not where the tax law is built. The tax law is built for these guys over here.